For this exercise, we need to validate two equations without using a calculator. The equations involve the tangent and cotangent of 15 and 75 degree angles. While you are not expected to memorize the trig functions of all angles, there are a few special ones that you should be more than familiar with, or rather, there are two triangles you should memorize. The first is the isosceles right triangle. For such a triangle, if the sides of the right angle are 1, then the side opposing the right angle will be square root of 2. The second one is the so-called 30, 60, 90 triangle. If the shortest side is 1, then the others would be square root of 3 and 2. It is almost guaranteed that any trigonometry problem at this stage would more or less involve these two triangles. And with that being said, there are also two identities we need for this problem. For any two given angles, alpha and beta, the tangent of their sum or difference can be written as some combinations of their individual tangent. So how do we make use of such information? The angle of 15 degrees is not involved in the special triangles, but we can express 15 as the difference between 60 and 45. We can apply the tangent identity we have. In the numerator, we have tangent 60 minus tangent 45. And in the denominator, we have 1 plus tangent 60 times tangent 45. And just to help you recall, tangent 45 is 1, and tangent 60 is square root of 3. Hence, we obtain tangent 15. And cotangent 15 is simply the inverse of tangent 15. And then after some basic operations of getting a common denominator and opening up squares, we arrive at the result of 4, which proves the first equation. The same idea goes for the second equation. We can rewrite 75 as the sum of 30 and 45. And then we apply the tangent identity of the sum of two angles. Once again, tangent 45 is 1, and tangent 30 is 1 over square root of 3 which is also the inverse of tangent 60. Hence, we get tangent 75, and we already know tangent 15 from earlier. Adding them up, we eventually get 2 times square root of 3, so this proves equation 2.